Singapore has always been seen as a model of how one can actually make a wonderful and a livable city. And so I guess in the greater southern waterfront, we're actually building a city that is beyond our imagination. It offers that opportunity to experience the allure of living in a waterfront city where people enjoy being with water or in front of the water. The waterfront city contributes to Singapore immensely as a city in providing a place and showing a place where people can actually live, work and play. The great public spaces actually offers us the opportunity to enjoy these things. And then also the fact that these uh, spaces will be supported by technological advancements, the smart city itself. And then coupled with it would be the natural resources that you would have, the green areas and then the water areas and also the other facilities around it, including the heritage areas in the rail corridor and then also the medical hub in the SGH campus. In investment as a developer, we always look for sites and development with a certain repeat pattern. We call it ingredient for success. To me, this land is exceedingly good. It capitalizes on the now. You know, it's got the future and it also taps on the history of the place. When we got the land, we wanted to create an urban space and landscape to a high architectural quality. We wanted to strengthen the character of the area through conservation and new development. So in so doing, we end up creating two 56-storey residential towers. These two towers will be quietly monumental, overlooking the Greater Southern Waterfront and Sentosa. With this, we named the place Avenue South Residence. This is a project that has all the elements that I myself and the home buyer I think can relate to. The unit layout, the quality spec, the landscaping and the amenity. We wanted the building to be set further apart from the rail corridor, thereby giving more general space to the green lung. You will be buying into the potential of an upcoming waterfront city that will unveil before you. So finally, actually, for the buyer, it's still the price, right? UOL project sells well because it is priced realistically. You now buyers get to enjoy the upside of the potential of the precinct as it materializes. You'll be cited yourself as a first mover advantage on a place that has got a second or third CBD, as we call it. You can imagine with this, the vibrancy that comes with it. To me, I see it almost like the High Line of New York. When they did it in New York, the property price that is abutting or around it soared. We see this aspiration or this wanting by buyers to be next to green but right next into the city. We call it an embodiment of a global city. So I think uh, Avenue South Residence has that opportunity and we have actually created a product that capitalises on it. In similar mode, you can see that this is happening in cities like London with the South Bank development and then also in New York with the Hudson Yards. And if we look at some near countries like Japan, this is also happening in Tokyo in the Tsukiji area where they also are developing places for living, working and playing. All this, I think, works very well for Avenue South residents. A precinct that forms part of the expanded canvas for the greater southern waterfront. It will add sort of new quality of city connectivity in terms of the green, walkability, and the visual connectivity. To me, it's really a place of exciting opportunity.